Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Carl the Viking. Now this is volume one, The Sword of Eingard, Don Lawrence and Ted Cowan. Now this is from Rebellion, brilliant series of books they've been bringing out, Treasury of British Comics. You can see the prices there. Now this is 240 pages. It's in black and white all the way through and it's just come out in 2022. Now the story is originally from Lion Comic. That was a UK black and white comic, so that's why it's in black and white, strangely enough. 1960 to 1962 is covered in this, and it's made up of separate stories. And you can see the separate stories there. There's the list of the stories. So the long voyage of, I should probably see it better if I hold it like that. You can see the details there, and you've got the details there, the dates 1960 to 1962. Now there's a minor criticism, there's no introduction. I would love to have seen an introduction in this. It does have a biography at the back, of the people. However, just a pity that no introduction. I always think that that's the best. However, the artwork, the stories are just brilliant. It mixes everything. There's stories, obviously, the Vikings, there's the Saxons, there's Gelts, there's Bix, there's set in the desert, there's set <laughs> everything. Dinosaurs turn up, Thor turns up, Odin, whatever. Lot. There's lots of magic, fantasy. Everything and everything is thrown into this. And Bear's really great art. I mentioned the great art. It is absolutely superb. So you've got... Now, the, the artwork obviously is probably... is so, Well, the artwork is superb, but the panel structure is a conventional sort of uh, back of uh, UK 1960s. So it's not sort of like dramatic sort of ones that are done in Marvel comics and things now. So if you're coming to it looking for that, it's not here. But the art is still, I think, just... Brilliant. Well, this is a real great fancy. I mean, look at that. That would just be brilliant on anyone's wall, wouldn't it? Well, maybe not. It looks a bit of a miserable old day. If you want a nice sunny <laughs> thing, probably not the best of ones. However, you've got these dramatic, very dramatic panels all the way through it. And I love those, actually. That's quite well done. But it's, like I say, separated in separate stories. So you get one story and then you can go, obviously, onto another story. And it's just, well, again, some very dramatic artwork all the way through just beautiful and dinosaurs you gotta have a dinosaur you can't beat a story without dinosaur but as i said it's got fantasy in it as well very dramatic scenes it's got thor it's got this i've mentioned thor let's see if i can find thor there's some bits that look a bit odd sometimes you think is that was something else there instead i don't know maybe that was what actually was in the comic i assume that's the case it just looks slightly odd it's this the powers of helvard so you've got to say a separate story and it's just consistently brilliant all the way through. So there's that start of that story and you've got Carl the Viking there. Wow, this book is just a masterpiece. Absolutely crackingly good story. Lots of them. Not mega fan of the Viking Saxon period, but still I found it a thoroughly enjoyable read. A real good So I mean, I'm not saying I was rolling around full laughing. It's not sort of a comedic. There's no comedy in it. This is very dramatic. Lots of people end up dying. Not in a particularly uh, nasty way. There's lots of people bash people over the heads and sort of bits of sword fights and lots of people lying on the ground. It's not sort of blood and gore in that respect. But it's still, they obviously things have happened. You can see the aftermath of quite a lot of these conflicts where obviously madness drives the men on and they're all sort of, their places have all been burned, etc. But it's, uh, it's relatively tame in terms of tame as much as burning the villages can be tame, of course. So... Uh, that sort of thing. But it's really good. And I just, by the hammer of Thor, there's lots of those sort of mentions. And the Thor hammer, and I, that was always hope, I was just looking through, and of course I can, whenever I looked for something like that, you can never find it. But the Thor hammer in this looks amazing. You just think, wow, that is a hammer. That's a serious hammer. Actually even got amphitheaters in this. This has got everything. So you've got even bits of ancient Rome sort of stuff just thrown in. You can't beat a good old arena there. However, the book, 240 pages, brilliant. A must-buy, one of the best I think they brought out. This is just absolutely cracking. And, of course, Trigon Empire one as well. They've just been brilliant. So I thought, I was at half sort of mind thinking, should I get it? Because, again, it's about Vikings, not a big sort of thing. But I loved it. Absolutely loved the stories. I've got a few more stories to read as well. I've read a number of the stories, but still a few more to uh, hopefully enjoy and I'm certain I, I will be however even better and I can't show the end page of course because that would ruin the story of course it doesn't but however 
The Voyage of the Sea Raiders. Michael Moorcock. This is going to be the volume two. That's coming out in January 2023. I mean, wow. Michael Moorcock. I love Michael Moorcock. Elric, Jory Cornelius, etc. Then you've got Advert for Trying Empire. Also the Spiders. Not a mega fan of that one. It wasn't really one that I, I thought I was going to enjoy it, but I didn't enjoy it as much. The stories were a bit... Mm. In fact, he's a villain. I just Maybe I'm just not... I just don't like that sort of storyline. There's Spider's Crime. I, mean, I expect I'll still get it, but Spider Crime Unlimited. Maybe that's better. I don't know. It's, it's Sometimes you get these things and you might not enjoy the first volume. And maybe if I go back to it another time, I might thoroughly enjoy it. And that one's coming in 2022. The Steel Claw, Invisible, and that's out now. I did enjoy that, even though that, in a sense, is quite repetitive because, of course, you've just got a guy with an invisible and a steel claw. But, and there's another one as well. Coming soon, Steel Claw, The Cold Trail. There's The Cold Trail there, and that one's coming in 2022. And there's another one here, Birdman and Chicken. The Crazy Crusaders. Don't think they're going to be part of the Avengers anytime soon, but who knows, by Trevor Metcalf. And the last one here, let's go, The House of Dollman. Hmm, interesting one. I don't know. It's one of those ones I've actually recently read a few of the stories of Dollman One stories, and they, they they're good. Uh, but maybe I just happened to pick a couple of stories that were just okay. I'm certain lots of people love the House of Dollman, so uh, I expect they're looking forward to that. Tom Tully and Eric Bradbury coming in 2022 as well. So that's that. I mean, I think this is just a brilliant volume, one of the best they've brought out so far. So it's uh, absolutely cracking. Carl the Viking, Volume 1. Totally, totally recommended.